hello 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 um yeah i'm gonna make um one of these um but we're gonna finish it i've started these two um just to see what i kind of thought and i kind of like it and i have it uh i have a vision in my head so i'm just gonna do what's in my head if that's okay obviously inspired by the marvelous wendy from wendy's journals at at Wendy's Journals, Journal Adventures. Sorry, I can't talk properly. Um, I've got a bit of a, I've got a bit of a head on, a bit of a head. Um, so, what I'm using is um, the Tim Holtz Wallflower, and I'm just using the. What are they? Six. I don't know. Just over six inches. Just over fifteen centimeters. Um, so I'm using those. And what I'm doing first of all is deciding which side I want to use on the front. Now, the reason I'm doing that is because part of it is going to get covered up. Well, most of the front is going to get covered up, which was a bit of a shame, really. Um, I might decorate that one in a different way, but that's not the one we're doing, so we don't need to worry about that. I kind of like the birds, but however I do that, they'll get covered. So I'm going to use this one, and I am simply... I'm going to grab my phone fold. Um, I'm going to fold this in half. I've got my sewing machine all hooked up and ready to go. Um, I'm not sure how much of of it you see. Um, where's my little... There we go. So I want this... Um, I'm going to leave the width exactly as it is. And I want it about 12 centimetres. Yeah, I don't like that 45 at the bottom, so I'm going to cut that off. And we need this bit, so we're not going to get rid of that. And I am going to round the corners, first of all. And I'm praying that I can do this in 30 minutes. I'm keeping my eye on the clock. I thought I just had enough time last time, and I didn't. And it took um, took a, well, it took over an hour to get that video together. Okay, now I'm going in with my frayed burlap because I think I said in my last video this is my new favourite vintage photo. I've got a horrible, horrible feeling I'm going to get to on slightest. And I haven't had it for a little while. But I've got that kind of virusy head and a bit of a throat coming. But, you know, I used to get it every month, every kind of four to six weeks. So, touch wood. I'm hoping it's just because I'm a bit tired and I'll wake up tomorrow feeling absolutely fine. And I do need to do another video today. Um, I have had the most awesome happy mail. Two lots of happy mail I really want to share with you. Um, and basically I really want to open it because I haven't haven't opened anything yet. I've opened the boxes and had a little look. But I haven't opened any of the packaging so I don't know what's in them. And I just want to know. Want to know. Right, so. I have cut a piece of craft card. And it's 10 centimetres by 6.5 centimetres to go inside here. So it's 10.5, no, 10 by 6.5. And, and I need my, I need my, my little ruler and I need my little fox pencil. Um, and what I'm going to do is I use this ruler because I've got, I can use the two squares. So I use the two squares on here as a guide. And I'm hoping I'm going to have enough time to make the tags to go in here. I'm going to come three down from the top, three squares down, and then three, three again. Oh, and now there's someone at the door. Awesome! <gasps> Please don't be visitors. Please don't be visitors. Far too busy. Okay, so I'm going to line this up. And I just line my wire up with that first line. Now this is where it gets a bit difficult because I usually stick my head right over. 
and it doesn't matter if these are not absolutely perfect because they kind of go in the go in the file folder and we put tags in them and you can't really you don't get a perfect look anyway that's pretty good apart from the fact it's a it's a little bit rough on the edges but I don't mind that and that's because of my paper trimmer um, and when I cut these out um, I lined it along the top line and it isn't flush it's not square so um, I tried it on both of them and just to prove I had to hold the paper or move the paper slightly on the hook to actually cut a straight line along the guidelines that Tim Holtz provides well he doesn't they're not guidelines are they they're just where the four different images are sitting oh we have some serious rain right before I haven't done a very good job of that I might go in and blend some vintage photo around the hole inside of this because this craft card is a bit, I don't know, it's a bit, uh, it's a bit wishy-washy. It's not very, uh, not very exciting, this particular craft card. It's that, you know, it's a bit bland. Let's give it a little bit of a of an ink to liven it up a little bit. I don't know if it's really livening it up, but and then I'm going to go round with my frayed burlap to give that a dark edge. Now I'm just wondering if on this one, let me just grab my box. Did I cut any? I think I did. Oh, they might be. Yeah, these are all going to be too big. Oh well. So, now I am going to be doing some sewing. So I wonder if I should think I think I'm gonna stick that down after I've sewn but what I am gonna do is put my tabs on first now if you've got a piece of card um, let me just grab a piece and I'll show you because what I've figured out with this um, punch <gasps> can you hear the rain it's really really heavy let me just cut this out um, when you cut these out, I'm going to show you how I cut these out, obviously, or not show you how I cut them out because I'm sure you can, you can um, kind of guess how I'm going to cut them out. I'm just going to make a couple of these tabs. Now, with a piece of paper like this, you have to have two separate tabs, but I'm sure most of you with this device have figured it out. If you fold this in half slide it into your tab punch just a fraction of the way from that top here if you've got your coloured paper or designer paper you can actually punch them so they are joined which I much prefer I much prefer it like that but with this we're going to have to use two singles Two single pieces. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to ink all the way around the edge and try to remember what time I started this video because I've already lost track of time. I think we've been going 10 minutes. So I'm going to have to get my speed on. I have to get the speed on. I've been watching The Flash. I don't watch TV, but every now and then... Um, we get into a box set and I have been watching The Flash and I've got to say, oh, I'm loving it a little bit. I really am. I do like the old um, superheroes. Now I'm going to glue. Um, I'm going 
gonna glue just along here a little bit. That was a little bit more than I wanted. I'm gonna pop that down there because I want to sew around here and I'm probably now gonna end up going through glue, which is not ideal. So what we'll do is we'll do a couple of other things in preparation while this glue dries. So on this side, I'm going to glue the whole of the top of the tab because I want it to stick to the other one. Do a pretty good job of that. And then I'm going to line it up. I didn't actually cut the tab very, very square, but that's okay. There we go. So while that is drying off a little bit, I'm going to make the image I want to put on the front here. And I've got some of my country garden and I've printed them four pages per page. So that's that should be an A4 page. I'm not sure whether I want to, no, I don't think I want to tear that. So, which image should I go for? I quite like the daffodils. I think that will brighten up, brighten up this cover a little bit. And I just did a really bad job of cutting that. That's not a straight line at all. Again, I'm rushing. I'm rushing. Yeah, that's not straight. Not even a little bit. There we go. Now I'm going to... Do I want to cut a bit more off the bottom of that? No, nope, I think that's okay. I'm going to go around with the... Oh, maybe I should have gone in here with the vintage photo. That's very dark. Well tie it in a bit with the with the outside with the cover actually really like that okay now I want some book page um, where's me where's the tear ruler here it is um, I'm gonna have to go for this top bit I think far down. That's going to be quite large. Oh, I hope we do get to finish this. It's raining really hard. This is the this is the heaviest rain we've had since we had the roof repaired. So I I do hope the repair was a good repair and it's not coming through the ceiling. Right, I'm going with a little bit of my ink again. Oh my days, how much do you see me ink? How much do you see me ink? It does sometimes feel like that's how I spend my life. That's how I spend most of my time. I'm just wondering whether I want a little bit of a... little bit of an extra extra bit. No, like it like this. But what I am going to do is because this book page is it's fairly, fairly flimsy, I'm just going to cut a little piece of paper or it's, I think, the, oh what is it? Um, it's a Heavyweight paper, lightweight card. I'm not sure. I think it's a rat. It's either 120 or 160 GSM. I never remember. I have both. I think. Do I? I don't know. It's one of those things that you. I'm not 100% sure about. <laughs> so I'm just going to glue this on the back of here, and it's just to give it a little bit of stability. Um, 
because it leaves massive holes if you go straight through the well it doesn't leave massive holes but they're bigger than I want so you won't be able to see any of that and I'm gonna just put a little bit of glue on the on the in the middle because I'm gonna sew around the edge I haven't actually checked the lighting what am I doing? Well, it's very dark outside, so I had to put the lamps on. Unfortunately, I had no choice. Otherwise, it would have been extremely dark. I wouldn't have been able to see what I was doing. So I'm going to sew this on here, and I know that means I'm going to have stitching on here, but that's fine. I'm going to, I'll deal with that. And then I'm just going to stitch around the outside. We're only going to glue our thingy down. So I'm going to bring my machine in. I would imagine... This is going to be fairly noisy because it's half on the board and half not on the board. I don't really know how to... There we go. Can you actually see? <laughs> ah, oh, I don't actually want to do that. No, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sew... Should I just sew around this? Maybe I'll just sew around this. I'm... Hoping it will. Right, I'm going to change my stitch to zigzag. Um, go a little bit smaller. Right, let's see. Oh, that's not as noisy as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be really loud. <laughs> Well, unfortunately, Wendy the other day, she was saying, you know, she used to do the quilting and things, so she's really fast at sewing. And um, I actually didn't sew too quickly right now because my machine is on the hook. And my desk vibrates quite a lot as well when I use the sewing machine here. <laughs> I have started using the sewing machine at the dining table, which is right behind me. All I have to do is spin my chair around. But that doesn't help really while we're while we're doing this. Let's speed that a little bit up. And just go back. And there is not a reverse stitch on my brother's sewing machine. I've looked everywhere. Doesn't, doesn't exist on this machine apparently, so I have no idea why. So I'm just resetting to a straight stitch. And this should be reasonably dry enough now I start at the back because I like you know I have to uh, I double over I double stitch round um, probably want to make that stitch a little bit bigger because otherwise we'll be here all day um, yeah it doesn't have a reverse stitch on zigzag which is very odd I think I'm using a dark green for most of this um, this journal and the tags and things. So um, I'm just sticking with that dark green for this. Right, I'm going to go a bit slower through here. One, because there is a possibility I'm going through glue, plus it's a bit thicker. It's very rattly if I try and go too quickly, so sorry about that. But um, it's very difficult to do a tutorial and only do half a tutorial. So I'm just double stitching over that a little way. I think that's it for the sewing machine, so I'm going to move that over there. And scissors. I'm just going to trim this off and a bit more of that actually. Right, so I'm going to glue this onto the front. Well, that solved the problem with the... I was going to put a tiny piece of um, vintage ledger paper or something in between just to, to decorate that inside. But I don't need to now. So I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with that. Pop that there. Oh, how am I doing for time? Oh, hang on, I can see on the... What have we done? Right, I'm at about 20 minutes. That's cool. 
Right, so that gives me about 10 minutes to knock up a couple of tags. I want to put a decent amount of glue because I'm not sewing this. There's going to be no sewing, and I know I can come along to that line because my my slit isn't that far. Right. So this is why I wanted to sew first because I didn't want to cover up any of that stitching. Okay, so I will have to decorate here. So the next thing I want to do is this is this is probably too thin. What have I got here? More craft. Uh, this might work. Right. Now, I've got this punch. It is Artim Artimio. Artimio. Um, it does the holes, and you can do one and a half inch, two inches, or three inch tags. Can I see how? Right, so what I need to do is cut this. I'm going to do it on the smallest one, I'm going to do it one and a half inches. Um, so I'm going to line this up and I think oh, I've got another strip of that in there, yep, this one's a bit too long, let me just, just cut a bit of that one for a minute, ah, that's stuck, right, one and a half inches, and I'm going to measure the length in a minute. I'll need that again in a minute. So this is a you know this is a real kind of show you strength kind of thing. And the thing is it doesn't fit perfectly. You cut it to one and a half inches and it doesn't fit in that slot perfectly and you really do have to squeeze this. But I want three three tags So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to spin that round and do the other end. And I can't tell you where to get this from because I bought it from my local little independent craft store, Craftability. Hi ladies. Um, so I, I, I wouldn't know where you would get it from anywhere else other than the lovely sunny rainy Ipswich right now. Okay, so I can get rid of that one. Uh, I've had this for quite a while, but it's one of those things I've said to, I've said before. You kind of have knocking around and you never use. You put it away, and then um, you find it out again, and it's it's your new favourite toy again. So I'm going to cut this one there, and I'm hoping that's going to fit in my back slot. Yep. So the next one needs to be measured out there. Just give it a little bend so I know where to cut. And again, let's hope this goes in. That one. And then this one, same again. Out there. doing for time. Right, I have about four minutes. So I'm not going to have time to do an awful lot. This is quite quite um, white. I'm going to have to finish the tags off, off of camera <laughs> because I really want to stick in a stick in a thing. You know, a, a, um, one of those holes like the lovely Wendy does. Um, this I can promise you will probably be stamped with some kind of entomology stamp, <laughs> but the, that's the kind of theme of this anyway. It's a, 
nature themed one. Sorry, I'm gonna sneeze. Sorry, 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 sorry. So I will have to finish these off of camera. And I will have to finish decorating the, the slip pocket. It just takes way too long. I am definitely, definitely going to look into some kind of camcorder that records for longer than 30 minutes. Oh no, I hear you all shout. <laughs> we don't want videos longer than 30 minutes. Um, but yeah, sometimes you just want to finish a project and you just don't have time. So they can be, you know, you can put your little me flip in there. Right, so let's get this race against time going. Make a hole. And I'm going to punch that about there. Um, Wendy does this with a lot more finesse than I do. And what colour? I think I'm going to go for the brass one. Whoops. Knocking everything around. Okay, now I've got my little packet over here, my little bee, bee charm, I've got my little garment pins. I'm not sure that garment pin is going to be the right thing to hang this with, but I'm going to try it for now. Maybe, actually I think it will work, just need to spin that round. There we go, no. Nope. Right, I'm probably going to put this on a jump ring, but I'm running out of time. So, oh no, look, it does. <laughs> Works perfectly. It hangs off the end. And what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to have that hanging out the side of the journal. So it's not completely finished, but we have a little Wendy style file folder. Oh, it has got really dark, hasn't it? Let me see if I can. I'm really hoping you could see everything. Um, so we've got our little B and we've got our little um, bits and pieces little pocket in here um it still needs a bit of work done to it but um you will probably see the finished product either on my instagram probably on my instagram and obviously in the finished journal so i will see you in a bit with some happy mail providing the light improves because it's chucking it down out there thank you so much for watching um i hope you found this uh interesting <laughs> <laughs> enjoyable and thank you so much again for your comments i love you all see you later bye